Hi, this is Oliver from Trusted Search Marketing and today I'm gonna to talk to you about some exciting stuff. We're gonna talk about voice SEO, that is SEO for Alexa and other voice assistants. We're also gonna talk about focusing on keyword intent, which is imperative in general keyword strategy today. We have a lot of actionable content coming your way, which we believe is essential for your overall success and strategy in 2022. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please do us a solid by subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the notification bell to be notified when we publish more amazing content like this. We have a lot more coming. We'd also really appreciate it if you gave us your thoughts and opinions on future SEO trends in the comments below. How about another SEO? So let's get into it. Most SEOs are aware that in 2019, Google launched an algorithm update called BERT. This stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. Whew. The essential concept of this update was to increase Google's capabilities of understanding a, a keyword's true intent. BERT was a fundamental change to Google's understanding of how people search for different things in different ways. In 2019, voice assistants were really starting to take off, but today statistics are staggering. For those of you still holding out and thinking that this is some sort of future sci-fi endeavor that will go away, let me shine some light on some real statistics for you uh, related to voice search. Social Media Today reports that 52% of people using voice search while driving, hello local search, 65% of consumers aged 25 to 49 use voice search enabled devices daily, Search Engine Watch reports that 21% of users use voice search on a weekly basis. These are just a few of the juicy statistics that make a compelling case as to why optimizing for voice search is such a big deal in 2022. But more than that, what's important to note is that Google is optimizing for queries beyond keywords. With the introduction of voice search, queries have become more, call it conversational in nature, as, a, as opposed to spoken search queries that are often much different than the type of search queries you would see in Google. But what if I told you that BERT was just the appetizer to the main course? Over the past five years, Google has been in a massive acquisition mode attempting to get their hands on products in the natural language processing space to help their algorithm better understand more human and conversational search queries. In 2021, Google has gone even farther to update their capabilities in interpreting the natural way people search. And the most recent update is known as MUM, or Multitask United Model, Google's head of search team went on record saying that Google's new natural language processing model is a thousand times faster and more powerful than BERT and can multitask in order to unlock information in new ways. MUM, M-U-M, is an AI model that can truly understand the intentionality of the user. It incorporates things like context and feelings to help it answer questions that are unique and hyper-relevant to a user's search query. Another cool ability of this initiative is that it has the potential to understand multiple search formats, such as text, images, voice, and, and so on. As cool as this sounds, it's important to know that MUM is still in testing, but it is in the public domain now. So more than ever, it's important to optimize your website for intent and work on your authority signals, such as EAT, E-A-T. For those of you that haven't heard of EAT before, it's, it stands for Expertise, Authority, and Trustworthiness, E-A-T. It can essentially be broken down into quality content that users love, the E, powerful links from trustworthy and relevant sites, A, and brand metrics and user sentiment, T. Keep in mind that this is an oversimplification of the EAT process. We'll go into this process in a little bit more detail in another video, but you can see how EAT and MOM build off one another, and it's never been more important to take these new signals into account. Lastly, it's important to note that Google's algorithm is using other relevant data to help make better decisions based, off search, based on search queries, I'm sorry. For example, Google, Google will consider things like misspellings, abbreviations, uh, previous search history, location, what a user is currently using, what apps the user is currently using. So now that we know why voice search and, and keyword intent is so important and, and what's driving that change, Let's go over some tactics that you can use to optimize your SEO for voice search and capitalize on user intent. Let's do it. One, you gotta understand your customer. Time to brush up on your marketing personas and their usage of technology. Focus on conversational keywords, another one. Long gone are the days of optimizing for a single keyword. You now need to optimize for long tail keywords, including variants, questions, and also conversational adaptions of those terms. Next one. Create detailed answers to multiple questions around a keyword. Use things like headlines, ask questions, followed by a clean, concise answer. Use schema markups when applicable. Add FAQs to your site. Make sure you perform question-related keyword research. Consider a good tool called answerthepublic.com, great, great tool. 
Don't forget to include local in your SEO strategy as well. Using keyword intent and optimizing for voice search is a current necessity that we will, I believe, will only expand into as we move into 2022 and beyond. Look at your targeted pages to make sure you are employing powerful keyword strategy and future-proofing your site against Google's advancements in the natural language processes.